Hi, welcome to Big Screen Readers, a short video to tell you about the Big Screen Readers at Chalkboard Productions. My name is Deb Reed, and I am the owner of Chalkboard Productions. I'm going to take you on a little tour of our Big Screen Readers. Currently, we have six available. We have three in Spanish and three in French. And we are coming out with more all the time, so please keep, keep checking back with us. A Big Screen Reader, essentially, is a book on PowerPoint. And it's made to be short so it can uh, fit in a classroom situation and you can use it to read to your students and uh, teach them vocabulary and grammar structures through reading together with them. There are, are a lot of other uses that you can have for it. First of all, it was designed for reading with the entire class so you could project it on a large screen so everyone could follow along as you're reading to them. If you remember when you were small in, in kindergarten, the teacher would bring you over to a rug, and the reading rug, and she would read you a book. When she read the book, she didn't just read the book as it, the words were written, but she also talked about the pictures and different things in it. So for instance, she'd say, oh, look at the bunny. Isn't that a pretty bunny? Oh, the bunny has long ears, doesn't he? Do you have long ears? No, you don't have long ears, but the bunny has long ears. And that, kind, that is the same kind of thing we want to do with our language classes in the target language so the kids can get used to hearing these structures repeated over and over again. They need that repetition in order to acquire their language. So it was developed for reading together with the class. However, there are many other things you can use it for, such as individual reading. If you happen to have a silent sustained reading time, SSR, or free voluntary reading, FVR time, then the students could read this. If you have computers available for the students, they'd be able to read this particular story. It can also be used for an enrichment opportunity. If you have students that like a little bit of a challenge, they, they want to increase their Spanish or French, you can give them this as an extra assignment that can be challenging for them. Or if you have vacationing students that might want to uh, get some extra work so they can make up for things that they'll be missing. This might be a good thing to give to a student who's going on vacation or to a homebound student who has to be home for health reasons so they could go out through it at their own pace. It also works as a quick uh, assignment for an in-school suspension if you have to do that very fast. There are uh, two different kinds of readers right now. We have the regular, the, uh, the Autumn and Indiana readers, and there will be others like that. And then we have the Rennie books, the Rennie readers. And each of these comes as a CD, and on the CD it has the book on PowerPoint, and it also includes worksheets that go with it. You'll get the worksheets both in document form, which is the Word document form, and it will also come with the PDF form, which is more standardized and won't change according to computers. Sometimes Word formatting will change depending on the version of Word that you have. PDF files are made to be the same on all computers. Uh, the Rennie books, the Rennie readers, also come with an MP4 video, which is like an iPod video. With them, you get the permission to use with your students in your classroom the, the MP4 video so you could have them download it to their iPods if they wanted to. Um, you do have my permission to do that. If you want to use it school-wide, though, I ask that each teacher that's going to use it buy a copy. Thank you. Uh, there are clips for the Rennie Readers at YouTube.com. My particular channel, if you want to subscribe to that, is YouTube.com slash chalkboard. And notice chalkboard is spelled C-H-A-L-K-B-R-D. And you will find better quality clips. I will show you a clip in just a minute with the Rennie Readers. Basically, what these are are little are stories on PowerPoint that you can you can read together with your class. My suggestion is that you start out and make sure everyone understands what it says. If you give it a quick translation in English, then there is no ambiguity. You know for sure that everyone understands exactly what it says. And for instance, with this, many of you that don't even speak French probably could pick up a lot because there are a lot of cognates. L'automne est une des quatre saisons. Il commence en septembre et finit en novembre. So, autumn is one of the four seasons. It begins in September and finishes in November. You could discuss this as in asking questions about what, uh, what are the four seasons, um, when does autumn begin, when does it finish, uh, does it finish in September or November, does it 
finish in September, no, it finishes in November, and you're getting a lot of grammatical repetition, repetitions of grammatical structure every time you do this. It goes on, voila, un, arbre, un grand arbre, there's a big tree, il y a, or, il a beaucoup de feuilles, it has a lot of leaves, les feuilles sont rouges, the, tree, the, the leaves are red, in autumn the leaves of the tree change color, and you could discuss this, again, the more that you use these and ask questions about them, like is there is there a small is it a small tree or is it a big tree? Does the tree have a lot of leaves or does the tree have a few leaves? Um, what color are the leaves? Are the leaves green? Um, why aren't the leaves green? Well, the leaves of the trees change color in autumn, and so the students could use the vocabulary and structures they see to help them respond to the questions that you may ask. Uh, Here's an example of the Rennie reader, the first Rennie reader. It's, it's me, Rennie. And it starts out, hola, soy yo, Rennie, soy un perro. Es obvio, no? And this would be, it's me, it, it's me, Rennie, I'm a dog. That's obvious, right? And so you could ask questions, is Rennie a dog? What type of animal is Rennie? Um, what's her name? And then go on to the next picture and you have a house, esta es mi casa, and you have questions about the house. If, if you want to, if you can't think of any questions to ask, I have on some slides there is a link that you click on and you will come up with some questions that you can ask. Sometimes it's good for the students to actually see the questions so that they can uh, see the words as you're using them. It helps them to visualize uh, what they're, what they're um, listening to. And you will notice that the answers on the factual questions about this will be underlined because they are links that will take you to the page that has that answer. It's not so important in the, this particular Rennie book because it's a little easier, but in some of the other ones, as they get harder as we go, then it will be more important than they may have forgotten the fact and need to go back to see it. Uh, Notice that not all the questions are factual questions. Some of them, tienes mascotas, means do you have pets? And this would be something that you could easily, uh, if they didn't know the word mascotas, you could say, you could give examples like uh, perros, gatos, um, any other animal that you can think of. Uh, and Or you could just tr quickly translate it, one word, mascotas, pets. And tienes is asking them personally. So you you take it from the Rennie book, which is mildly interesting to the students, and you take it into their own lives, which is highly interesting. They, they would much rather talk about themselves than talk about Rennie, and I understand that. That's one of the major things about the Rennie books is they try to help the students have vocabulary and structures that they can use to be able to talk about themselves. And especially with the Rennie books, they're all from her point of view, so they use a lot of the I form of the verb, the first person singular, and the first person plural. So that, that's an advantage that they may have. After you have gone through all of the questions, and you'll notice all of them that have an underlined sentence are the factual ones. So does Rennie live in an apartment or a house? The, uh, what kind of, what's Rennie's house like and what's your house like. Then we bring it back to the students because they are much more interested in themselves than in Rennie. I can tell you that. And it goes on from there. The woman behind the computer is my owner. Her name is Deb. Then you can say, what's the name of the girl behind Joey? What's the name of the boy behind uh, Susie? And you've got classroom, again, you're bringing it back to the classroom, back to the students. The students are more interested because they're hearing about themselves and about other people. It continues to go on, and yes, there are more, she, there are some structures that they may not have had, like me da muchas cosas. She gives me a lot of delicious things to eat. If they haven't had that structure and it's not one that you want to focus on at this time, then just give a quick little translation and go on. If it's something that you want to work with, then ask some questions about it. Ask um, who is giving, you know, who gives Rennie this, and uh, ask, uh, you know, give me this, and you can practice those kinds of things. Again, there's a, every so often there'll be the preguntas at the bottom, and you can easily click through and find the questions, ask, ask the questions, and discuss things, and then 
bring it around to discussing with the students because they are very interested in themselves. Each time there's a link to take you back. Now, I'm going to show you a short video of the La Gente Es Rara, which is People Are Weird. Again, all of there are clips of all of these Rennie readers, uh, the four Rennie readers. There is no MP4 video with the autumn. That doesn't come with one, but the Rennie readers do. So let me bring up the Rennie. We'll cross our fingers that it's going to work. This may not come across as very good quality because of the webinar software I'm using for this, but if you go to YouTube, dot com slash chalkboard c h a l k b r d you'll find better clips better quality cl clips notice ready is in this corner and she's narrating it what it says is personally i think that people are weird for example the first thing my owner deb does in the morning she takes a bath can you believe it and you, you can see that she it's going to be using some personal hygiene type things, some things along those lines that use reflexives. Now, obviously, Rennie does not like, we'll move it just a <laughs> Rennie does not like, she says, I don't like to take a bath. I, I like water to drink, but I don't like to take a bath. I don't like baths, but Deb likes baths a lot each day. She's weird. And it's, it's basically from the dog's point of view, what people do that looks strange to them. It seems to be weird. And having her narrate it um, is usually very entertaining for the students. Again, if you want to see the clips, go to youtube.com slash chalkboard and spell it C-H-A-L-K-B-R-D, and you will find better quality clips there. They do come, each of them comes with worksheets and uh, on the CD, and they come with the PowerPoint. Like I said, the Rennie video, the Rennie comes with the MP4 videos, and it's all included in the price. Your, when you purchase this, you are able to use it with your students in your classroom. If uh, you're going to have someone else use it for their students in their classroom, again, I ask you that you buy a copy for each teacher that's going to be using it. But I think for the price, they're pretty inexpensive, so it's a good deal to be working on to help your students learn how to read. And when you have a collection of these, then you could have students pass them around or work together in pairs or threes in the lab and read books together on that. So that's our big screen readers, and if you are interested in ordering or for more information, go to chalkboard-productions.com. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me personally, you can, go, you can email me at chalkboard, C-H-A-L-K-B-R-D, at C-H-A-L-K-B-R-D.com. And I thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this and that you saw the advantage of using these big screen readers in your classroom. Thank you. Bye.